All right, you know, I'm actually not mad at that in the slightest. As we knew it would, at the Ubisoft E3 press conference, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was revealed with a trailer and a gameplay demo, and uh, they've gone full RPG. Yeah, and it's not too bad, not too bad looking at all. I mean, it didn't blow me away, I'll give it that, but at the same time, it was about what I expected, I guess. So right, you're here to see my thoughts at some point, I'll get around to doing a massive breakdown of that demo, as I'm sure everybody will want me to. But for now, I'm just going to give my thoughts on it. So the first thing that I noticed is that the game takes a lot from Origins as far as core elements are concerned, which is exactly what I expected. Honestly, that's not a bad thing. Origins was fun, it was fine, and if it's not broke, don't fix it. I do have a concern to express over this, but I think I'll entertain you with that one later on. But of course, my major takeaway from this entire reveal is that Assassin's Creed Odyssey is going full RPG. Even gonna let us choose if our character is male or female, the male being called Alexios and the female being called Cassandra. I'm not so fussed by that. If anything, I think, yeah, why not? I mean, this game is quite disconnected by the looks of it from the rest of the franchise. Might as well have some fun, test the waters a little bit, and do some experimenting. Either way, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is looking rather decent. The game is set before Origins, obviously, so that they can disconnect it from the rest of the universe and do this experimenting with the franchise a little bit to see what people think, which I think is a pretty safe move. Visually speaking, the game looks gorgeous as well, so that's something else that I quite like. Obviously, Origins looked gorgeous beforehand, and that's where most of the graphical stuff came from. I'm not entirely won over by the acting scene in the gameplay demo, though, so I'm going to have to see more before I'm convinced that that will be up to standard. But you know what, I'm not going to judge that too soon. From an overall perspective, it seems as if Assassin's Creed Odyssey is taking the franchise down the RPG route properly. And I mean, I can't complain because it seems like the route that the franchise should have taken years ago. Even still, the game seems to bear a lot of likeness to Origins, which is fair enough. And as it stands, it does seem to be different enough as well. However, my concern does fall with how similar it might be. I don't want Ubisoft to pull a Far Cry 4 with the Assassin's Creed franchise. And when I say that, I mean again, of course. But I won't spend too much time fretting over that because the game looks relatively decent from what we've seen. It is quite difficult to tell whether or not you like a game after seeing a trailer and 8 minutes of gameplay footage amassing to about 10 minutes of overall footage. So I guess what we're really judging here is the handling of the reveal. And honestly, I think it was handled pretty well. Last year, Origins reveal was frankly all over the place. I'm glad to see that this was all collected and in one place, and it looks relatively decent, and it shows confidence when you allow people to play the game at E3, which I believe they did. Don't quote me on that though. Also, the game's creative director, Jonathan Dumont, did strike me as somebody with passion when he came out on the stage, which is a very good sign. Obviously, he's not Ashraf Ismail, but he could very well be the next best thing. Obviously, it's hard to tell in the space of a 10 minute announcement, but we'll see what happens. The game also got an official release date at this reveal, which is the 5th of October this year. So what is this saying? Is it saying that annual releases are back or what? I mean, obviously it doesn't immediately mean that. For all we know, they could take next year off and then come back the year after or the year after that, but it's a little worry. But so far, there's not really much to be worried about as far as Assassin's Creed Odyssey is concerned at my end, and I look forward to seeing more. So, so far, I'm quite content. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this, you know. We'll see what happens. We'll see some more gameplay. I'll be able to form a more of an opinion on what I think the game's going to be like. But for now, I think the reveal was handled pretty well. I'm not too keen on the game coming out the year after Origins, but uh, we'll have to see if that affects the game later on. But anyway, I'm going to go get cracking on this breakdown of everything now. Thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. Be sure to go ahead and drop me a follow on Twitter as well. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point.